Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I am on the verge of providing you the documentation for the incarcerated people dealing with going and challenging their sentence for the unlawful incarceration by violating their rights in the first instance. That document is complete and it is uploaded. You will have to download it, send it to the person who was affected, have them fill it out. Uh, this is not a PDF, this is a Word doc, so you can edit it. The only problem with you editing it, 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 it. Got to do my www. Uh-oh, that's not a w. Doc, and then we got to get rid of this FTP stuff. All right, we'll, we'll do this again. One second. Dot S, uh-oh, no space. Dot S-A-T. See, I'm messing up because I got the paperwork copying in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an H-T-T-P-S, because it's a secured site. Colon forward slash forward slash www.sitecom911.com forward slash PDF S's. See that right there? And then we go right here. Document. Now watch this. Uh-oh. What you mean you can't connect to the server? Oh, that's a comma. That's why I can't connect to this. Why didn't y'all tell me? All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is the link. Hold on, control. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Give me a second. I'm going to pause y'all so I can do this right. Okay, it's the right link. All right, so that lets you know, for the incarcerated, it is for them to challenge their sentence. So we got to go back here. We got to go to tiny URL. Because we just got to make it tiny. Got to do our refresh, because if I don't do the refresh, then it will give me an error. And by doing that, hmm. I wonder if that's the that's the link, y'all. Y'all see that it copied the link and gave me a VA? I could have used the VA. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some people who are incarcerated here in California. I keep in touch with one individual. And by keeping in touch with that one individual, they're going to get three of these documents. Look, I have a lot of idiots on this planet who have an opinion. And I don't know why we live in such a world where everybody thinks they have an opinion of people or whatever. Don't care. What I do care about is the fact that some people don't appreciate what I do because they don't understand it, because they themselves didn't think of it first. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody else is going to do this for you. Go ahead, take a look. Everybody else is doing anything like this is charging people. This is free. So what I'm going to do is take the link going with the document that has everything pay attention it has everything you need everything it brings up all the arguments does it really bring up the thing about debt and all of that but it does bring it up because they're trading your case on the market mm -hmm. here is the completed document the notary section come on now give me my room I, i'm about to go eat it's um this is the memorial of christ's death this is the day christ died According to the calendar, it's the first week of spring, first full moon. This is Sunday, the 24th of March, the first full moon. I don't care about the other people who don't understand. I don't care about the other people who haven't done the math who think they know more than I do. I don't care. Keep your opinion to yourself. I'm not here to argue with you. This is the day that I celebrate. So get off my back with it. All right. Sorry, there are people out there speaking to their computers and the screens and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, you just have to watch the formatting down here. Uh, the gentleman that I'm sending it to, he's getting a, a PDF. You guys are not getting a PDF because you need to edit yours, but they don't have access to computers so that they can edit their document. So all they need to do, I should have gotten rid of this example thing. Um, and so, dag nabbit. I got to get rid of this example thing. Hey, don't do that. Go back where you was. Give me one second. I got to do some editing.
Ladies and gentlemen, two birds, one stone. Just got finished eating and I ended up doing the edits to the document. The edit is, there you go. They will fill in the person's name. They just need a first name for the bond. The first name and then bond, etc. all. That's what you need. The NA, not necessary, so I'm gonna have to take that out. Means I gotta print these pages again. I forgot that NA was there. Y'all gonna have to excuse me. And I got a double comma. Get that comma out of there and get this comma out of here. I was enjoying my food, okay? I couldn't pay attention to both at the same time. That junk was good. Apologize. All right, there you go. Now, this is the save document. Now I gotta go to the original. Nope, that's this one. This is the original. And now I just gotta get rid of the NA. And I gotta make sure, gotta do the same thing for y'all document. This ain't y'all's. This is for the people who are incarcerated. We are, okay, put a little space there and get rid of Leas Rahil. And then we just gotta check that last section and we'd be all right. So we gonna cruise on down, cruise on down the road. Uh oh, don't you carry nothing that might be alone. You got to cruise on down, cruise on down, cruise on down. Okay, that's everything. Just need to make sure that lined up. Okay, that's the document. Now watch this so that you guys get the same thing that they get. Say, oh, no, no, you guys are not going to get the same thing. This is a different document than your document. This is for that particular party. I got to open the one that's for you guys. So give me a second. It's a lot of work, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. Like them parents. Give me a second. I got to pause y'all again. Okay. Y'all's document is uploaded. All right. I will be copying the link and posting it in the title of the video. All you have to do is exactly what I'm doing now. You see how I'm doing it? Title right here. It's going to be in the title of this video. Okay. And we're just going to be like getting somebody out of jail. It's going to be something similar to the title. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. You have to read it, and the person you're trying to help has to read it. Then you're going to have to watch the future video as I explain every point. There's a lot more detail, including the interrogatories and the discovery section that's in this petition. It is 23 pages long for small claims court. I would strongly ask that you get subpoenas. You want to subpoena evidence. He's The person, he or she, is going to small claims court. If they forced them to enter a plea or if they told them at an arraignment that they had to enter a plea, this is for them. Does it matter what crime they're charged with? I don't want to hear nothing from anybody talking about, well, the people who are in jail deserve to be in jail. There's a lot of people who did what they were supposed to do, yes, but it doesn't mean that you get to violate their rights to put them there. I'm sitting up here watching in Russia the pretend terrorists. They called them terrorists. Ladies and gentlemen, Russia had just bombed Ukraine two days before, and next, all of a sudden, they're going into a building and shooting up over 130 people, killing them on the spot. Tell me that that ain't got nothing to do with Ukraine talking about ISIS or is. Lordy, have mercy. And people are so gullible to believe that stupid news that it ain't got nothing to do with their fight against Ukraine. Like all of a sudden, those people are just dead because it's a coincidence. And if it's a coincidence, then I apologize to all of the Ukrainians for saying that their government was crooked enough to do something like that. It's the same type of stuff the United States does, and I guarantee you the United States may have had something to do with it. Sorry. I'm very upset about that because we have people just walking in with assault rifles and shooting people. 130 plus people died. Women, children, men. 130 plus people. None of them were said to be working for Hamas. Well, you know how Israel is saying, I just saw a video from Israel where they literally, four men were walking through one of the neighborhoods that they bombed. They were just walking through the neighborhood. They weren't going in any buildings or anything. They were just walking down the street. And they used one of their drones to kill each one of them. Even the one who got away who was injured, he's out in the open and they still used the drone to blow him up. This is our world, people. This is where we live. This is the mentality of people, not just here in the United States, not just there in Israel, not just there in Palestine, 
not just there in Russia, not just there in Ukraine, not just there in Ghana, not just there in Ethiopia, not just there in the Democratic Republic of Congo, not just there in Australia, not just there in the Netherlands. It's everywhere, people. We cannot get away from this stupidity and violence that's going on around us. So for those of you who think people who are in jail deserve to be in jail, you're absolutely 100% right. They deserve to be there because they volunteered. But the problem is they don't have any authority to violate these people's rights. There is nothing in any constitution that says that they get to subject them through, pay attention, cruel and unusual punishment. You're going to charge them for a crime, charge them with the crime. Go after the crime, go after the offense. Don't go after the money. I can prove that they're trading the junk on the market. I can prove that they're trading your birth certificate on the market. I can prove that the treasury converts every single lawful instrument and or legal instrument into a security. They're called T-bills. That's how they that's how they operate. That's how this government is able to do what it does because they commercialize everything. But it still doesn't give them the right to trade your securities without your permission. We're going to start handling stuff like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I, yeah, this is the day I don't put my mind on all of this, so I apologize. But I did kept promising that I would get this document done for people. It is done. And it's about time. It does take a minute. It's taken me five hours today. Started on this thing at 9 o'clock this morning. Okay, 9 o'clock this morning. And I'm just getting ready to put it up. So, And that's only because I had over 14 hours of downtime of kicking back. But right now I have to prepare for this occasion for today. So with that being said, have a good day, everybody. I hope this benefits you. Goodbye.